1976, magician Martin Brees released a cassette recording detailing David Burgess's nightclub act. Included in this description is a routine where a spectator names a card, a second spectator is then asked to name any number, and then a third spectator is asked to have the DOB from either the top of the deck or the bottom. And of course, even under those conditions, the card is found at the number. This trick became known as the burglars effect. Which doesn't fucking exist. Now let me clarify that. Of course the effect exists. As a matter of fact, the burglars effect was written up in a number of places. The first one is the mind of magic of David Burglars by David Britton. And the second one is the burglars effect, which is of course the name of the trick written by Richard Kaufman. And of course, finding a card at a selected number is something that goes way back in the way back machine where everyone's favorite magician Erdnace had a version written up an expert at the card table, but it goes even before him. Or her, it could have been a her. It wasn't a her. Where the burglars effect doesn't exist, however, is a method that satisfied the disgustingly virgin magicians in being a perfect, somebody names a card, someone names a number, and that's exactly where the card is. Now don't get me wrong, I'm as big of a virgin as anybody else. I've hoarded methods upon methods to find a card at a selected number, trying to get as close as possible to that scenario. I even have a project that goes over that. But the key difference is that the effect is more important than the method. And it seems like the reason magicians are obsessed with the burglars effect isn't because of the effect or the potential effects, but because of the method. In their feeble, tiny minds, somehow there's a perfect way to do this effect. And every couple months, one of their kind releases a product that promises just to have that. Now, the only problem is that the reviews, which are ravished by level 98 virgins, complain that it's nice, but it's not the burglars effect. Now, both David Britland and Richard Kaufman literally described the burglars effect in their books, and magicians still aren't satisfied with the method written and described by David Burglas himself. They don't want to accept the fact that in many instances, David Burglas is holding the cards himself asking the spectators to mention a card, cutting the cards, putting the cards down, having the spectator name a number between one and 15 or even one and 10. They wanna ignore those because they think that somehow that he's hiding some inner working that magicians haven't been able to figure out for almost a century. Now, David Burglas himself was surprised with the infamy that the actual trick obtained. Magicians, Magicians are funny creatures. We live off methods and complain when the method isn't something that is up to their high mix standard. As I've said before in many virgin filled rants, the method doesn't matter. The effect is all that matters. What's the trick anyways with the burglars effect? Somebody names a card, another person names a number, and the card is at the number. That's not a trick, that's a coincidence. Did you place the card there ahead of time? Why couldn't that number just have been written on the back of the card? Please don't steal that illusionist. And the any card or any number plot could lead itself to a wide, varied array of effects. Maybe you have the spectator memorize the deck. Maybe you yourself memorize the deck and the spectator names the number without them realizing that they've subsequently memorized the deck and they know the card that happens to lie at that position. That's a very interesting effect. But having the card just be at the number that the spectator names again is just a coincidence and that's not magic. I think magicians want to ask how rather than why and that makes all the difference. If you want to check out my take on the A can, any card at any number, I released a project like two years, two years ago. It's been a while about it. You could check it out. I'll even give you 20% off if you use the code level 98. So check that out if you want. And that's it. As always, try to go outside more. Try to go outside more. Enjoy the sun. All right. Get hit by cars. Do things that make you enjoy life a little bit more than staying inside and playing with your, uh, your decks. Thank you.